I didn't walk up. Where's your car? I don't see a car. Don't you see on my name, Jesse? Do I see your name? Do on the screen. Car? Do I see your car? We don't serve walk ups. I didn't do walk up. You walked up? You I did mobile order. You don't have a mobile. Yeah, I do. It's on screen. I, <laughs> you are not in a vehicle. We do not serve walk ups. Your mobile order will be refunded to you. You're probably going to lose your job. Okay. I don't think she's going to lose her job. I think her job is perfect. You're right? going to have to like work at McDonald's or something. Even worse. She's going to have to work at McDonald's instead of Taco Bell. Oh God. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a catastrophe. Oh, she's going to have to make Egg McMuffins instead of burritos. Oh my God. Do you hear yourself? I don't understand people who walk up through drive -thrus. I've never done that. I've never seen a reason to. I'm pretty sure like nowadays, even if you have a mobile order, like you can still go in and pick it up. I don't give a f that is fucked up. Uh oh. I'm gonna uh -oh. teach your ass. I'm using the oh. restroom and there's a guy going in there while I'm picking a poop. Oh yeah. Okay. As oh, poop? Real. And you guys do not even hear me in there. <laughs> Hello, I'm picking a shit. You want to eat a taco now? I hope y'all, I hope you don't want to eat a taco now. Please, I think it is shit right now. He's got the you're ones, bro. Would you want a guy walking in the f***ing restroom? Yes. I shut up. <laughs> Oh, oh, the clap back on that one. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> then Turner, like, shut up. Like, this doesn't even concern you. Little shorty. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Get a shorty. Shut up. I tried recording. Yeah, y'all got y'all shit in the wall. Pay your bill! Yeah, y'all left them keys! Y'all <laughs> shit the wall yeah. out! The world's dumbest criminals! Oh, it took me a little bit to quite understand what was going on. They tried to dine and dash. How many people have actually done that? I can't say that I ever have, but if you have, like, I want to hear about your story. I mean, I know it's like you, you're stealing, and that's bad, and I don't recommend you do it, but like, I want, I kind of just, I want to know what it's like to be a criminal. No, I'm kidding. Perth, we can see another Karen finding out that this particular Taco Bell ran out of nacho fries. Oh. And this is how she took out her anger on the employees. Uh-oh. Hey, you, 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 you just cussed the whole thing. No, you don't know what I'm here. I'm not talking to you. Is it really? Is it really? How old are you? Did she talk to you like that? No, not the nacho fries. <laughs> No, not the nacho fries. Put that on a shirt. I would buy the heck out of that shirt. Not the nacho fries. Oh my god. This this is the problem with America, everybody. Oh. Right here. I'll bet I'll bet this. Ice food was ordered 45 minutes ago. Oh god. So is ours. Now we have to eat cold tacos because you're being a little kid. Gee. Oh. I can't wait till at the end of this video when the police come arrest you. Oh my god. I was about to say, somebody please stop her because that horn was getting very annoying. Just go park somewhere and they'll bring you your food. Like, you know, every time you go to McDonald's, like almost every time, and there's a line and they're like, hey, can we just get you park over there? We'll bring out your stuff. No problem. All right, cool. I'll sit over there. I mean, you don't have to go around the counter. She really said this. She talks like this. You're gonna get pointed at. You told me that you called her and said, oh, I didn't mean to call you. I don't know. I 
is something that's always going on with you. When I came up here the other day, oh, I just got to go. I got a headache. You just told me that now. Stop giving me excuses. When you're a manager, you don't have no time to give excuses. You rectify, you rectify the situation because you ain't doing That's why. That's why. That's exactly why. So she's complaining about the service, I'm assuming. I'm guessing from what she's saying, she's every time she comes in, something happens, she's not getting whatever she wants, blah, blah, blah. Which I can understand. You know, there's one person specifically, whatever store, and they're just constantly dropping the ball. Like, yeah, you might wanna, you know, speak up and say something. I don't know if you really gotta be like, hmm, hmm. But, you know, it's about the way you approach the situation. A lot of Karens, they don't really approach the situation. They kind of charge at it. <laughs> as long as you, you know, you go in nicely, you use nice words, calm tones, you're fine. Back at the thing, this is my third time. Every time I go to the window, they're running. So, I'm just gonna let y'all see. What's the tea, girl? Let me see. Let me see what's happening. Hey, talking this, about this is ridiculous. I shouldn't have to pay for service, for bad service. Like, I don't pay for bad service. See that? See that? Running. Oh. Just running. Like, I'm getting tired of this. Wait, are the people avoiding her? What's going on? There's a conspiracy going on. What the heck? Excuse me! Oh. Oh, is this part two? <gasps> can't help you. Sir, I can't through it. Oh my God, do you Come see this? No, can you open up the door? Come because down. I want my money back. You know what, just give me my money back. Come just down. give me my money back. Ma you can you just give me my money back, please? Girl, get that camera. Sir, I can't, just money. give me my money back. Do you see this, Taco Boy, you know? Excuse me. What? I, want, I need my money back. Calm down. I need my money back. I'm still so confused. I'm guessing that's part two of the video that I just watched. I'm confused. Karens are just messing with my brain, with my noodle here. Huh? You don't live right here, bruh. You laughing when you saying sorry, that's not respectful at all. I, I spend my money on gas to go home and gas to come back and you laughing in my face like it's funny. It's all right. I'm gonna call corporate in the morning since it's so funny, sir. Oh. She's calling corporate now. All right. I want to know how many times corporate gets one of these phone calls. Like, oh, this person at the Taco Bell said this, this, and this. I wonder, A, how many times that happens a day, and B, what do the people say? Like, the people from corporate. The people who, like, answer the phone to talk to these angry Karens. I want to know what they say in return. 27.39. Okay, who was it? Were you the person I was talking to? Oh my God. Right now in the uh -oh. drive-thru? Oh, Were you? Right. I'm assuming this is the manager. Hello, ma'am. Um, I do not know what um, your employee's oh, issue might be, issue? but she was talking to me very disrespectful, you know, while I was at, uh, getting my order. Uh -huh. And all I asked for was a, a two extra bags. Two and extra she, bags and and exactly. And she was, box? yes, she was um, being very belligerent and loud mm -hmm. with me, mm -hmm. screaming at me in the speaker. And that's why I went ahead and um, put this, you know, because so, I want to, you know, hold people accountable when you give them respect. <sighs> it's the way when he tried to confront the person at the window. She just closed the window and she was like, ah, no, let me get the manager. Just immediately, like, she knew something was going to happen. She knew something was going to go down. There's ways to approach a situation where you're asking for accountability in this person's case. You just gotta go in nicely because I feel like if you go in really angry or really tense, you're not gonna get a very good response back, you know? talking all at once. I don't know what was happening. 
All I saw was a dog in a bag. And, and she's pointing at the dog in the bag. If somebody can please decipher this in the comments for me, that would be fantastic because there's so much chaos going on. I'm just looking at the dog. I feel bad for the dog being involved in all of that because I'm just so confused as to what's going on. French fries? Yes, French fries. We don't sell yeah. French fries. You know, your birthday is also French fries. This is taco dough. See? What's okay, my taco ball literally, literally, I've never been able to not get a quarter in. Oh, sorry. Welcome to taco dough. Man, just like a small glimpse into what goes on. Like, you would be shocked at how people have no idea where they are. You know? Tell me what french fry orders you have. We don't have french fries. No, not french fries. Anything along the side. Anything that's helpful, just tell me. We don't sell french fries. Stop it up. I'm not asking you. Oh my god. I wish that that video kept going longer. I want to see what happened after this because she seemed like she was about to pop off. Um, this employee's being very, very nice. <laughs> I used to work at a brewery and people would come in and ask for like a Corona. I'd be like, where do you think you are? What, why did you come to a brewery if you want a Corona? You know, we don't have that here. We make it. the heck? Imagine throwing trash around a fast food place and a pair of heels. Lady, pick a lane. <laughs> like, what is happening? Oh my gosh, what is even happening? Heels or not, don't throw trash around. I can tell you that when she was getting ready, she probably didn't have that in mind. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're never gonna get a crunch wrap supreme now. Well, here's your receipt, you can look at it. It says $15 for three burritos supremes and two soft tacos. There's none of this that you can leave at any time. You can $15 for it, for it, for it. Bring it up. She's mad about the price, but she had a coupon? What? What were you expecting? You went to Taco Bell. Taco Bell is already pretty cheap. You're getting all that food for $15 and you're mad about it? I'm confused. And then again, it's a Karen, so uh, their thought processes are very different from normal human beings. French fries? Yes, French fries. We don't sell French fries. You know, your birthday is also French fries. We don't sell French fries. This is taco dough. See? What's okay, my taco dough? Literally, literally, I've never been able to not get a quarter in. Anything that's helpful, tell me. She didn't even know where she was. She thought she was at Burger King. You walk in to Taco Bell. All you see is tacos. How did you think you were at Burger King? Burger King doesn't sell tacos. Last time I checked, I mean, it's Burger King, not Taco King. Very different establishments. So, so that's the cheese, cheese. Really? The cheese. Oh, I thought we were not even getting it. Cause I don't know how to make this right first time. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's talking so fast, I can't even understand her. She's like, Cops! You're, what are you mad about? I'm so confused. I can't understand a word you're saying. What is going on, friends of the internet and other intergalactic places? Welcome back to Top 10 Central. I'm your host, Brie Room. We are back reacting to some Karens getting triggered at Taco Bell. We're gonna sit here, watch them, judge them, and pray for humanity because, oh boy, she's not looking too hot. So let's get into the rest of the videos. 
To be fair, she was wearing a mask when she first started yelling. Oh my gosh. Taco Bell? Oh my goodness. Y'all, this lady is mad about her Taco Bell. I'm not going anywhere until I get them. Uh, the drama? I don't know. The next drama series, telenovela, like K-drama, is happening at Taco Bell because apparently this, this is where all the drama happens, all right? You're gonna have people waking up from comas at Taco Bell. You're gonna have secret twins at Taco Bell. Like, guys, I'm gonna become a screenwriter. I'm gonna write a drama that happens solely at Taco Bell just because of this stuff, because this is unreal. Take it, take I always walk up, I live right down the street at the senior place. I want one of those uh, big box. Okay, and what kind of drink? Um, let's go with a, a medium with a... No sour cream. No, I'm sorry, what kind of drink, what kind of drink did you want? Oh, Pepsi. <laughs> okay, and you said no sour cream? Pepsi. Yes, ma'am. On anything? Uh, you know, go ahead, throw it on there. Oh my god. She's looking in the car just to be like, hmm, I did it. You can't do anything about it. Get your Taco Bell and go home. Honestly. <laughs> Like, is she yelling because she had to wait five minutes? Brenda, I promise you, I will get your story. What's his name? You're not allowed to give it. Okay, but I'll remember the day, the time, and the sh**. You'll know, and I will be speaking to not only your your store manager, your corporate office. I got the receipt and everything. All your in the Oh, whatever. Your franchise. Your franchise store manager. Ooh. Like, what are you supposed to do? If you don't have five minutes, bring your own food from home. Get a lean cuisine <laughs> or like a hungry man or something. <laughs> Get one of those microwave things that take less than five minutes to microwave, a Michelinas. <laughs> when you get the Alfredo, this is such a vivid memory from being a kid when you get the Alfredo pasta and then it's still frozen in the middle but the outside is like burning hot. Oh man. <laughs> Chris, you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, the pandemic. <laughs> Chris is like, this isn't a vivid childhood memory. This is a vivid 2020 memory. <laughs> Karen wanted more cheese. Why haven't you been watching anything like this? Uh, no, I know they want more cheese. Is that all for you? It's yeah. Oh gosh, I did not like this one. Hey, sometimes you gotta pay if you want extra cheese. I know it sucks, but them's the breaks. I fed up with this world. Oh, come on, come on. I don't Holy smokes, she's complaining about the prices at Taco Bell. You're complaining to the wrong people. They do not make the prices of Taco Bell. This is a chain. Three, three burritos and two tacos. Give me my good mother. really about to pop off at the end there. Your taco could be a million dollars and there's nothing they can do about it. Get to my food! No! Get to my food! Why do you even take orders, 
can't make him in Bingo's fucking food! Oh my god. I don't care anymore! I gotta go feed my two year old! You! You can't take orders! Tell people you can't! Oh my god. He's big mad. He's really, really mad. I love how he's like, oh, I need to go feed my two-year-old. Like, is that two-year-old going to, like, explode if you don't feed the kid? Like, you are very upset. You to wait until I'm done speaking, and then you speak. It's common courtesy. Okay, that's my bad. It's common courtesy. Now, I asked you for a bean, vanilla, tomato. And you told me that you didn't service them here. And I can show you a thousand receipts that I get those all the time, okay? Now, all of a sudden, the machine is down. So I'm gonna need the corporate number. I don't wanna have to talk to you anymore. Okay. I just need the corporate number and your name and your badge number because I will be calling in. That's fine. Badge I don't number. actually have the just number. Just give me the corporate number. I don't wanna hear anything. Oh, all right. Badge number. That's not how that works. Not everybody has a badge number. <laughs> Imagine if we all had bad numbers. Imagine if we all had like serial numbers. Like we came off the, the factory truck and we're all just like beep boop, here's my barcode, boop boop, you know? Like I'm gonna report you to the manager so that we scan your barcode. I feel like Karen's would really love that, you know? And then you don't have to go ask for people's names, numbers, managers, whatever. They just gotta go look it up in the system. Hi, what is your name? Hey, why did you call me? Okay, can I tell you something? I'm gonna come back Uh oh. Here. I really uh oh. Going to jail. All right, take your egg McMuffin and leave because we don't need that. The way she stormed back there like she owned the place. Like, I don't think you bought this establishment. I don't think you're allowed back there unless you work there. Oh, God. Once I get to like clip three, four-ish, then my brain starts to, starts to melt. Cause he's Karen's man, I can't. Welcome back to the channel, ladies, gents, and all non-binary humans, I love you all. Welcome to Top 10 Central. We are reacting to some more Karen's acting a mess everywhere and anywhere. Oh, they will never stop. Oh gosh, no, they will never ever stop. They're still acting a mess and we're still looking at footage of them. So here we are. Buckle your seat belts, guys. You're in for a wild ride. What you guys are saying are offending other Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Right here. Oh, the white over the cracker? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. My husband is black. You know, oh, black. I'm black. My mother is half black and my grandfather is black. So you think me? Mm -hmm. oh, well, I'm black. Are you white? Yes, you're white. There's a whole... Thing about people being like, oh, well, I'm part this and I'm part that. I'm half black, all right? I'm half black and half white. For the people who keep asking me that, here's your answer. This really just irritates me a lot because people really want to side with one race or another. And I'm just like, I can barely, me myself being half and half can barely find inclusivity in one community or another. So don't go acting a mess like that, calling people what's what and saying, oh, well, I'm part this, blah, blah, blah. I identify, blah. You can identify with whatever culture you want, but just don't act like that because that just makes me really upset. <laughs> that makes me really, 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 Really upset. Moving on. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. This they quit. They quit. Don't bother quitting because you're fired. Well, Whoever had to mop that floor had a terrible job, but I bet that floor was never cleaner than <laughs> after that. Oh my God, I gotta get home. Look at this. Ah, oh, this is fun. <gasps> oh, oh, sh <laughs> Karen! <laughs> I like that when everyone sees something going down now, everyone just calls them a Karen! 
It's my favorite thing. <laughs> and I helped. You can tell that things are going down because we had the, you know, I'm trying to make my point and I'm gonna emphasize every syllable. <laughs> like, what could you possibly be arguing about at Taco Bell? I know that people will always find something, but I'm just like, I don't know, get your <laughs> Mountain Dew and <laughs> get out of there. <laughs> when they don't give you your burrito and you have to hold up the entire Taco Bell line. <laughs> He's mad dogging. I mean, I would definitely hold up a line to get a burrito. <laughs> In some cases, the ends justify the means. I wouldn't be a Karen about it, but like, I can't leave without the burrito. Leave no man behind, okay? Now I want a burrito. Mmm. Maybe I'll have a burrito for lunch. This unnamed employee has lost his job after this photograph was posted to the Taco Bell Facebook page and went viral. Yeah, that's disgusting. Ew, why are you wasting all those shells? People want hard shells and you're just throwing them away. I can't believe it went, well, I guess it, I was gonna say, I can't believe it went viral, but it probably went viral because everyone was like, what the heck is going on here? Is there somebody licking my Taco Bell shells? <laughs> Apparently, yes. There's this other chain that's like similar to Taco Bell and it's called Taco Time. And you know what? I'm here to say it. Taco Time is better than Taco Bell. And if you've had both, you know what I'm talking about. Okay? You work for the city and you're acting like this? Yeah. I said you're working for the city and you're acting like you this? You got damn right. Why are you in my... Is anybody talking to you? You my goddamn I gotta hear your... Oh my gosh. I want to know what happened before this, though. That's the real tea. And you're acting like you this? You got damn right. Why are you in my... Is anybody talking to you? Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Because you're in a public... Get your ugly ass... You try to yell your order you at want. them. It's what you gotta do to get free food. You got damn right... If you'd like my information, I recorded the whole damn thing. What was going on before? Hmm, somebody let me know. You guys always know. You guys always got the full scoop. That jack well, you look nice tonight. <laughs> you look like a should be. Actually, you know what you look like? Every politician out there. Okay. God bless America. Oh my gosh, imagine being trolled in the drive-thru. <laughs> oh, pull up, I'm not leaving. Uh, well, could you please pull up so we could have our food? When I get my sauce. I'm really <laughs> so, serious about this sauce now. Oh my god, I will once I get my sauce. Yo, I just can't. People just have too much time on their hands. Like, I would hold up the line for a burrito, but I would not hold up the line for sauce. Also, just go inside. I feel like if you go inside, you get things way faster. So, like, if you can go inside, you should just go. Hold on, I gotta pause this. <laughs> this woman is reportedly upset because she thinks she was overcharged for two burritos and two tacos. Whatever happened to civility taking care of issues you have? This woman is literally threatening these employees. Here's another wanna bring her spouse in to beat up a food employee, SMH. Bringing that man into this, which doesn't warrant uh, all that. How are you sure? How are you so sure he can beat up the employee? Typo. If you're gonna do all this, just don't patronize the restaurant, period, and the way it looks. She didn't even look at her receipt carefully. She something probably thought the items were cheaper than they actually are. She should look she should looked for a special or searched for some coupons. They have an app, I'm sure. Oh wow, that was a struggle and a half. G okay, um, comma. I, I'm supposed to be roasting the Karen, but I'm roasting whoever wrote this, <laughs> like no offense, but like commas. You ain't got a lot and I ain't company. What? What? Where is the conflict? I've never seen a Karen video without any yelling. This is new for me. <laughs> Sorry, man. What do you mean one? I have two fries. 
Oh, somebody's angry. For some reason, I'm waiting for something to be thrown. I'm sorry, but whoever was filming that, don't give them the Oscar for cinematography. So what I gather from this video is that the, the customer is upset that they didn't get everything that they ordered, which is, you know, understandable. But the way they said it at the beginning, like, I asked for two fries! Ah! Dang, they were really about to throw hands over fries. <laughs> Karen takes off at Taco Bell employee for lack of cheese. <laughs> Is that all for you? It's fucking yeah! Oh no, get away! <laughs> she was about to throw hands! Oh my god! If you want extra cheese, just be like, hey, can I have extra cheese? You don't have to berate the staff because they didn't put enough cheese on your nachos, okay? The guy filming, coming up, be like, is that all for you? I don't really like that. It's not nice to comment on the amount of food that people are eating. <laughs> then she turns around and is like, Roxy like a puma. <laughs>